These ten amending articles are, by popular accord, declared the nation's Bill of Rights. Every national government pushes against the limitations on its power. Our war on terror begins with Al-Qaeda, but it does not end there. Change has come to America. Violence isn't only on the rise in Afghanistan. President Obama has already used unmanned CIA drones even more than his predecessor. The great difficulty is that we can use the war on terror as a phrase to justify surveillance and spying. There is no spying on Americans. The Guardian revealed the existence of a top secret program codenamed PRISM. They're getting everyone's calls, everyone's call records. It's operating on secret interpretations of laws explained in secret memos that we're not allowed to see. Today we learned just how much authority the administration believes it has to kill without trial or evidence suspected terrorists even American citizens. The Obama administration killed a 16-year-old American citizen. Uh, we killed in a drone strike. Law enforcement has a long history of taking any surveillance program and applying it to people who are, are political threats. Take it another step and say the journalists, that they should face prosecution, that is news. There's nothing magical that makes the U.S. be the way it is. You have enough of these kind of doctrinal changes, the country could transform in a very troubling way. There is a new political movement emerging in our country, and it crosses party lines, and it is all about Americans who want to see a better balance between protecting our security and protecting our liberty. Civil liberties, the, the rights that are enshrined in, in our Bill of Rights, the ones that are essential to a free society, to a functioning democracy, the idea that the best ideas will prevail.